In iPadOS, we can now attach an external hard drive, USB thumb drive, or a card reader to an iPad, and then use the Files app to transfer items to or from the connected drive. If you have an iPad with a lightning connector, which any that feature a home button will have, you'll need an adapter of some sort to plug into the iPad. This could be Apple's USB to lightning adapter or a similar third-party adapter. I have a card reader that has two connectors, one for lightning and one for USB-C. This lets me plug it into either my iPad or my MacBook Pro. If you have a newer iPad Pro without a home button, it will have a USB-C port, not a lightning port. This will allow you to directly connect USB-C drives, adapters, and cables. The other factor to consider when doing this is power. iPads can't send enough power to many attachments, so they simply won't activate. So if you have an unpowered USB hard drive, or even a thumb drive, it might not work. If you have a drive that is powered by its own AC plug, it should be okay. My card reader is unpowered. It works perfectly with my 10.5 inch iPad Pro. But when plugging it into my iPad Air 2, it won't turn on at all. So once you have everything plugged in and working, what happens? Well, here in the Files app, the card reader appears when it gets plugged in. This card is simply named SD. Tap and we can browse the files stored on it. In the Bighorn Crags folder are several photos. Tap for a preview. We can move these images to the On My iPad folder to copy them only to this iPad, or move them into iCloud Drive so they'll be available to all my iCloud devices. Of course, we can also transfer from the Files app onto the SD card. If I want to move a file from the Documents folder to the SD card, I can do so with a drag and drop. To delete a file from the external drive, just swipe left on it. One drawback to this that I found is that we can't open files directly from the attached drive in certain apps. This modern report file is a pages document. When I tap on it, a preview comes up. But when I tap the share button, there's no open in pages option. Not even here in the more button. If I jump into the Pages app and try to browse to the SD card, it's not displayed in the locations like it is in the Files app. So the only way to view this file in Pages is to first copy it to the iPad or iCloud Drive. Hopefully Pages gets updated soon so it can open files from external drives and cards. For certain iPad users, this is going to be a great feature as long as you have the right combination of drives, card readers, and an adapter. But the ability to easily transfer files to and from external storage is a very welcome feature for the iPad. Look for more on this in an updated Files app tutorial, either later in 2019 or early 2020.